Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install one of those uh, toilets you buy where you buy the buy everything in a box as a kit and uh, I just want to uh, go through the, the steps to show you how to assemble it. Okay, so I've taken it all out of the box. Uh, I'm shooting here by myself today so uh, just to simplify things I've already unpackaged it. We, you're going to find in the box you're going to have a base, toilet base. Uh, you're going to have a package of uh, different hardware and the wax ring and that sort of stuff. You're going to have usually another package with the seat in it. Uh, looks like there's some instructions in there and the hardware for the seat. And you're, uh, there's inside that box as well, there's going to be the tank. Now the tank's generally going to come with all the, the guts inside of it. Everything all installed and uh, that part's good to go. But it is going to come uninstalled or unassembled to the, to the base here. So that's, that's the main process. I'm going to show you what to do with that. Um, most of these boxes come with basically everything you need. Uh, everything from the bolts that attach it to the floor and uh, the wax ring that makes the seal. So it's, it's pretty convenient that way. But kind of one of the first things you want to do once you get it out is just inspect the entire unit, the base, the, the tank, everything. Oh, I didn't mention it, but there's obviously a tank lid. I guess I didn't bring it right into the shot here. But anyways, uh, you want to just, just inspect your, your, all your stuff, make sure it didn't get dropped or broken or anything. And uh, this one, this one looks fine. So some people will, just for ease of uh, cutting down some of the weight, they want to kind of put this base on, get it all bolted on, then put the tank on, just so they're not carrying the whole thing around. Um, that that's fine. There's no problem with that. Part of the part of the issue I have with that though is it's definitely uh, not as easy to get this tank on and see what you're doing and everything especially if you're confined between a wall and a vanity or something on each side. It's really hard to get your head in there and see what you're doing. So I like to assemble mine uh, completely uh, before I really even have them in the room. And that way I can uh, just simply carry it in and set it on and, and away I go. So uh, whichever way you want to do it, that's fine. But I'm going to show you by uh, assembling it completely. And we're obviously not in the bathroom right now. So on the bottom of the tank, you're going to see uh, this fitting, which is uh, where your water supply line will attach. You're going to usually have two bolts already sticking out of it like this. And that's what fastens the uh, tank to the base. And then you're going to have this big uh, round fitting here with a nut on it. And uh, one of the first things we need to do is find this big washer, or sorry, not washer, but gasket, and uh, fit it onto here. And some of them, not all of them, but some of them, the shape inside here is actually the same shape as this nut. So you need to kind of get that lined up roughly, you know, pretty close to what you, what the shape of the, or position of the nut is and just pop it on there. It takes just a slight little bit of a stretch to fit it on. If uh, it's a bit more of a fight, I guess it does go on if you don't line up the nut, but try to, try to line up the pattern if it has it with the, uh, with the nut itself. Okay, so that's simple. We've got that on there. Uh, I'm just going to look in this package. So in here will be the wax ring, which we don't need for the actual assembly. Uh, here's a little uh, package as well with the caps that go on and the bolts that hold the toilet to the floor. Again, we don't need that right now. But what we do need is these uh, gizmos right here. So they include this little uh, extra wrench. And what that does is it fits, fits these little nuts right here. And that's what uh, screws down onto there. So it, it does help uh, to reach in there. You're not trying to struggle with finding the right wrench or anything like that. So, Okay, so uh, we've got all the little bits and pieces out. There's also included in this one a couple of these little plastic washers. And they're going to go on once I uh, flip this over and set it in place. They're going to slip onto these nuts. Okay. So just flip your tank over, basically set it in place there. Now mine, the, uh, the bolts were kind of sticking up into the tank. I need to push them down. So, 
So now underneath here, let's see if I can get this right for the camera. Underneath here, you can see the you can see the bolts here, right here, sticking through, and that's what we're gonna we're gonna put these little nuts and everything on. So I've got this plastic washer, just gonna slide that up in there. Once those are on, it'll kind of hold the tank roughly in place, at least so it won't wobble and fall off. Okay, so I've got it on there. I kind of stand over the tank, or over the toilet, I mean, the, the bowl, and just line the tank up so that it looks straight with the rest of the with the rest of the toilet so it'll sit nicely against the back wall. So I can start these on just with my fingers. Get them both started. So, and then again, just one side has the, the right size to fit that, those two nuts that we just did. I just apply a little bit of pressure down on the tank and just snug these up. And I don't try to completely do one more than the other, kind of go back and forth. Kind of go back and forth until I can uh, get it sitting down nicely. Trouble getting on there. There we are. Okay, now when you snug that down. You don't have to like strong arm it. And I think that's partly why they give you this plastic thing because you probably can only tighten it so much with this thing without it stripping out. Uh, because you, you don't need this to be um, turned on with Gorilla Grip or anything like that. It just needs to be tight, but you know, and just sitting down on the base here. If you kind of look under here, you can see I'm sitting down, sitting down on there. Let's see if this one will tighten anymore. Nope, that's about it. Yeah, so it's just sitting down on there nicely all the way around and that that's part of that foam gasket it just uh, squeezes in there and makes that seal because that's the seal that when the water leaves the tank and goes into the bowl and that's basically what's keeping it from leaking okay so something else I like to do at this point this is one thing that won't be included or I've never seen it yet anyways included with the toilet is uh, the line that goes from the uh, water supply to the to the tank and uh, usually you have to buy this they probably don't supply them because they will come in a couple different lengths depending how far or where your valve position is anyways I like to have it on hand and I like to put it on at this stage because again I can just see what I'm doing I don't need Teflon tape or anything either there's a little rubber down inside here and it makes contact and compresses against this fitting on the bottom of the tank. So again, I'm not using a wrench or anything. It's not even made to put a wrench on. It's just uh, basically finger tight. I just kind of turn it as, about as tight as I can. And uh, that's about ready. So now the only thing left to do is to put the seat on. And then it's ready to be installed and used. So let's get the packaging open here. So uh, a lot of the seats, unless you're buying a super cheap toilet, most of the seats that come with the toilets now are slow close or soft close or whatever, however you want to say it. Um, so you're, you know, you're not slamming the, the lid all the time. Oh, where'd the bolts go in there? We definitely have everything packaged up well on this one. This is a, uh, what is this one? This 
This is American Standard Toilet. I don't remember the exact model. Um, I'll try to put that. Well, this is, uh, here we go. This is uh, the Rave Ravina, I guess, Ravina 3. So this is the toilet I'm installing. Uh, they didn't send me this toilet or sponsor us or anything like that. I just purchased this toilet to put in. Okay, so right back here, there's going to be a little thing you got to flip up here so that you can get at where the bolts go in the seat. Just kind of set your seat on the bowl, get it you know lining up properly, and have a look at where where it lines up here with the with the holes. I'm just gonna. So I'm just looking here, you can kind of see, I think you can see that the hole in the toilet bowl is offset to the forward part of this elongated hole. And they send you a, a few different washers. So they send you one where the hole's in the center, because this washer is going to go in here. So they send you one with a hole in the middle and a hole with, uh, that's offset. So you just got to set it on there, get it lined up to kind of determine that's in the right viewing area yeah just to help you determine which one of these washers you're going to use so I don't need the centered hold ones I need the offset ones and I'm going to put the hole the offset in the washer closer to the seat I guess as opposed to closer to the tank it's just the way this one's going to sit the best so you drop those in oh I forgot to put this okay, before you do that there's little usually going to be a little rubber washer or not a washer but a gasket and they've got to sit at the back here or on the bottom here I mean to kind of get those in sitting in place I wish they kind of clipped in it would make it easier but get them get them in there flipped around now we want to throw our washers in there and the uh, these are the bolts and nuts that they send so really simple system honestly uh, I guess I really I haven't used a tool of my own yet to do this it's basically all comes in the package at least to assemble the, the actual toilet okay so you're gonna have these nylon bolts they're gonna drop down in those holes through those washers that we put in there you want to kind of get the seat sitting again lined up the way you want it and then these are kind of nice because you can actually get a hold of them they're they're a decent size and they've got a little bit of texture to them so you can get your fingers on them now depending on the toilet sometimes you can get it tight enough just by you know just by turning these little nuts down here and if you can't these ones have a, a Phillips or a star shaped uh, screwdriver drive in those heads so you could just cinch them down as tight as you need them to be that's going to probably be pretty good just by hand flap flip those little deals there closed and like I said this is a soft close so it just slowly closes and doesn't slams doesn't slam I mean and yeah so other than the topper that comes up here on the tank which I must have left outside or upstairs uh, basically put that lid on until you get the toilet really uh, in place and installed though I wouldn't wouldn't even bother putting that putting that lid on because it's just gonna cause you an issue with either falling off and breaking or, or something like that so so anyways, uh, hopefully this was helpful. Um, we have something very similar in another video that we did quite a while ago, and I showed the assembly and the installation, but I just thought uh, a separate video for the installation might be kind of nice for some people. Uh, for Sorry, for the assembly of the toilet. Um, I, we will put a link in the description underneath the video, and uh, you can follow that link and that'll take you to our older video that actually shows the install if you want some help for uh, installing your toilet. Um, I happen to know if 
in that video, if you skip ahead uh, to about the 20 minute mark, I think it's like a 38 minute video. If you skip ahead to about the 28 or uh, the 20 minute mark, you'll skip over what you just seen me do here and get right to the uh, installation. So, okay, so I uh, appreciate you watching. Getting the crap in my foot here. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, we do really like uh, if people can uh, click on the subscribe button down below here. And uh, after you do that, if you want, you can click on notifications so that you'd be notified every time we post something new or if we go live or anything like that. Um, but yes, please become a subscri subscriber to our channel. We, we'd love that. And uh, also, um, there's, there's other ways that you can help support us if you would like to uh, through donation. Um, we have a Patreon account and a PayPal link where you can, uh, you know, give us a little tip if you'd like to, to help us keep producing videos. And uh, we'll have links for all that stuff in the description below as well, uh, as well as a link to our Facebook page. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.